Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here at the Union Pearson Express Station of Union Station, located right here in downtown Toronto in the Skywalk. Instead of doing Union Station's one big video, we decided to break it down to its smaller constituent parts, as this is more practical given Union's constantly changing nature. And in doing so, we can get into more details about each part of the station as well. This station is a recent addition to the Union Station complex, and it serves the UP Express service that operates every day at about a 15-minute frequency. Let's go and take a closer look. Before we get into the video, we want to give a quick shout out to our newest patron, Alex. Thanks so much for your support. Supporting us on Patreon is the best way to help us keep bringing new content to you guys frequently, and you'll also be able to access our exclusive community Discord server for a direct channel of communications to us. You can also support us by giving a one-time donation, which you can do through our coffee page. And furthermore, we wanted to quickly remind everyone to practice social distancing in this difficult time. Please stay home and keep yourself and your community safe. Alright, time to get back to the main content of the day. The App Express Station is one of the newest additions to the giant station complex here at Union Station, and it opened for service in 2015. The station isn't located right with the other services here at Union, as the platform used is a new platform just to the west of the GO platforms. So to get here from the subway, for example, you will need to take quite a trek, but thankfully, there are lots of signs to direct you. Just head up to the Great Hall, follow the signs for the Skywalk, and you will be there in just a couple of minutes. Arriving at the station, the first thing you will notice is the beautiful wooden detailing of the exterior of the station, making it really stand out amongst the other parts of the Skywalk. We also really appreciate all these ads for the service that we spotted along the way, reminding passersby, especially tourists to the city, that the service is available right here. As there's not a lot of room inside the actual station, being mainly just the platform area, some parts of the station have spilled out into the Skywalk including Presto ticket machines where you can purchase your Up Express tickets or reload your Presto card, as well as TV screens showing the departure times for the next couple of trains. Our next destination is just a few steps up into the actual station. After walking through a slightly cramped walkway, the station opens up to a long platform, framed by a row of glass platform screen doors. The whole station has a light-colored wood aesthetic, which, in our opinion, really lifts the mood and is quite beautiful. The platform features departure screens, presto tap points, vending machines, and some benches to rest on while you wait. There are doors along the whole length of the platform, although if you do want to exit or enter through the middle doors, you will have to follow the tapes and line up. There's not much to do near the platform doors besides waiting in line, but if you prefer to occupy your time with something else, there is a small cafe right here for you to grab a bite and chill out at, or you can browse the souvenirs on offer right beside the cafe, or even do some work at the CIBC upstairs lounge that occupies the second level of the station and get a great view of the platform and trains below. The lounge used to serve food and alcohol, but unfortunately it no longer does, so you will have to bring food and drinks from downstairs. And of course, the station also has some washrooms, just in case you do get the urges while you're waiting for the train. And if you ever need any help with the service, there is a help desk right here offering some friendly service, and you might even be able to check into your Air Canada or WestJet flight right here at check-in kiosks. For an even better view of the station exterior and especially of these Up Express trains, we recommend walking further down the Skywalk, exit on the other end, and walk towards the CN Tower, where you'll arrive at this patio overlooking the GO train and Up Express tracks. And of course, this is where you'll be able to access the CN Tower, Rogers Center, the Rec Room, and Ripley's Aquarium, all excellent destinations for a trip to Toronto. Enjoy some rail fanning footage while we wrap up this video. Alright guys, that's about it for our tour of the Up Express station here at Union Station, and the first part of our ongoing series to cover the mega structure that is Union Station here in downtown Toronto. We hope you enjoyed this video, and perhaps are more interested in checking out this station and the Up Express service after watching it. Like, subscribe, and let us know down in the comments what part of the station you like the most, and what part of Union Station we should cover next. 
Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and support us on Patreon or Coffee if you would like to help us keep making great videos for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.